Yeah, it's great. Um, obviously, um, it's been a bit of a strange summer, I think, for everyone. So to have the opportunity to to come down here is is something that I'm I'm really excited. Um, it's nice to get back in and uh, meet everyone. Uh, from from my point of view, it's it's been a, a long time since we've been in that sort of training environment. So it's, it's good to come in and um, hopefully it'll, 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 it'll start progressing now and we can have a good preseason. Um, you know Matt Taylor from your time at Bradford. Uh, how big of a factor was that in convincing you to come to us? Yeah, it was. Um, obviously, I've, I've had a good year with with, with the manager at, at Bradford, and um, from from speaking to him initially and um, knowing what his person personality is about, it's, it's something that, that 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 I like, and it's I think it's something similar I think that we've got and um, I, I, obviously I've, I've seen enough of Exeter from, from the football side of things and Matty was big on, on, on everything else uh, coming down, came out a look round and um, really made an effort to, 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 to sort of try and help us uh, settle in and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, it's been massive. Do you also uh, know Nicky Law in the squad? Um, what was the welcome like from him and the other players in the squad? Yeah, it's, it's been great. I spoke to Lawsy, um, obviously, in, 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 in the build-up to coming down, and he had nothing but good things to say. Um, as you can imagine, he's he's really settled here, um, and I think if if you look at at Nicky from from his football inside, I think you see how well he's done since he's come here, and I, I think that helps. Obviously, when when you're settled and, and, and you're happy, so that that's a massive thing for us. And um, I, I, as you've just said there, from from coming in today and uh, meeting all the lads, uh, making you feel welcome, which which always helps. Um, it's, it's even when you've sort of uh, had a few pre-seasons it's, it's never easy sometimes going into a different or strange environment so just the little things um, are a massive help um, you, you mentioned there extra and, and, the, and the football inside and knowing the side quite well um, and you, of course you played them against last season the scrum cover don't think perhaps extra City were at the best at mm, the yeah. day, but what have you made of them as a, as a side? Yeah, ex ex exactly that. Um, when I spoke to the manager, he, he mentioned that game that they still had a couple of chances on, on that night. And as, as you know, in football, it's it's a fine line. Sometimes it, it can give you that edge. But um, you look at where, where the club was when the season finished. Um, three points off automatic. The amount of home games that that, that were still available to play. Um, everything was sort of pointing towards getting in that top three. And um, Whatever happened, obviously happened with with, with the curtailment of the season. And uh, I watched the playoff games; um, they were dominant in in in, in the semi final. And as as the manager said, on in, in the final, it's just one of those days sometimes. And you had them in football; it just happened to be the playoff final, which obviously it's it's not what everybody wants, but um, it's something that everybody wants to build on and um, try and progress from last season. And um, we've seen a few of your YouTube highlights, and a lot of the, the titles in them are all about your your strength and, and, and physicality and um, um, do you feel that's one of your strong points as a defender? Yeah I think so I think defending sometimes in, in, in the last few years has probably changed a little bit towards the sort of higher end um, I think when, when, when at the end of the game at the end of the season first thing I look at is if, he's, if we've kept a clean sheet or how many goals we've sort of conceded um, throughout the season and ultimately that that's what we're, we're we're paid to do that's our job and sometimes it it might not be pretty at times but um, I think from a defensive point of view if we can keep as many clean sheets as possible it gives the rest of the lads that confidence and, and that base to build from and I think anything after that um, it is always a bonus um, obviously there's there's a style of play and, and things like that which is what, what everybody wants to see and, and it's great um, but you're going to have games where it's going to be scrappy and it's about um, when you do have them games coming out the other side and making sure we get three points You added the, the plus points on, on top of the clean sheets you, you actually get quite a few goals attacking from corners as well don't you? Yeah, I think it's important that we do try and contribute. Um, obviously, everyone looks at the sort of front lads um, who are expected to create things and score. But when set, when we have set pieces, wide free kicks, um, there's no point in anyone going up there if, if you're not expecting to score. I think you, you keep making your runs. You, you go in there with a bit of intent, and you, you can get the rewards. And if if we can chip in with a few goals here and there, they they might be the goals that sort of just get you over the line come the end of the season. Um, big move for you down from uh, Sheffield area. Uh, what have you made of Exeter as, as a place and an, an area? Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Um, I remember sort of coming down down this way um, as a kid and holidaying and things like that. And um, it's, it's it's always this probably the same old thing with the British weather. If if you were guaranteed the weather, I think you'd see everybody coming down here and 
Um, last night we, had, we went for a little drive. We, we managed to find a place to live and, and things like that, which which is which is massive for us. So we can try and settle as quickly as possible. And um, we've got got family, so we can go out and explore. And uh, we're all looking forward to it. How much are you looking forward to those pre-season games coming up and getting back into a turn practice? Yeah, it'll be good. Um, as I said, for, for, for me and, and obviously Jake, it's been a a, a long time really um it'll probably be weird just to try and get back into that routine a little bit but it's good that the, the fixtures are probably coming uh, thick and fast um that'll sort of replicate i think how, how the season's going to start so um i think it's important that everyone just sort of builds themselves back into it um pre-season's going to be tough um, we've got you know, enough time to, to get where we want to be and making sure that everyone's fit and ready to go come the first game of the season